All right, this is first grade, module two, lesson 13. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue solving word problems as our context uh, for learning how to subtract nine from 10. This is the exact same lesson as lesson 12, essentially. It's just more of the same. Uh, the difference is we're gonna get to see the number bonds instead of just horizontally like this, we're also gonna see uh, vertical number bonds. So let's get going. So it says, in a park, 10 dogs are running. All right, so that's running. And one is sleeping. Uh, nine of the, run oh, so what we can do is we can now know that there's 11 dogs at the park. And it says nine. Now you'll notice they drew the five groups. I pers personally prefer these to be in 10 frame form. Uh, but they didn't do it that way. That's fine. We're not going to get all freaked out about that. But it says nine of the dog of the running dog, uh, nine of the running dogs leave the park. So these four plus these, I mean, these five plus that four leaving these two dogs. So how many dogs are left in the park? And the answer is two. While we're at it, let's write the number sentence. So the number sentence would be 11 minus 9 equals 2. Uh, personally, uh, teachers and parents, this one, a more efficient technique might be adding on, saying 9 plus 2 is 11. 9, 10, 11. Uh, so gives us 2. So the count on method might be, from an efficiency point of view, uh, more efficient, but that's okay. Right now we're practicing the subtracting 9 from 10 technique. Another practice example, we're back to the horizontal number bond here. It says Alejandro had nine rocks in his yard and ten rocks in his room. Yard, room. Nine of the rocks in his room are gray and the rest of the rocks are white. How many white rocks does he have? So the idea would be, so first off, we have 19 right here, and we're, we're going to draw this. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we've drawn our model, and then we're going to go back and read it. Now, it says 9 of the rocks in his room, so that's these guys, are gray, and then everything else is white. So we're going to cross off nine of them. So we're going to cross off five down here plus four right here. And all of the rest of the rocks are white. So that's going to be nine plus one is ten. So we have ten white rocks. And what would that number sentence be? The number sentence would be 19 minus nine equals ten. And the last example, let's just wrap this up. It says, complete the number bond and fill the math story. Uh, use five group rows and cross it off. So first off, we know we have 14. And our five group would look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's our 10. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's go down here and read this question. It says, there were some number of birds splashing in a puddle, and then some number of birds walking in the dry grass, nine of the splashing birds. So since that's a big number, that means this 10 is the splashing, and then this is the walking. And it says, so let's get that written in. There were 10 birds splashing and four birds walking, nine of the ten splashing birds, uh, nine of the t uh, splashing birds flew away. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there is our, the ones that flew away. How many birds are left? And we can see there's one up here plus four down here. So there are five birds left. Now what would our number sentence look like? Our number sentence would be 14 minus 9 equals 5. And that wraps up first grade module 2 lesson 13, continuing to use word problems to subtract 9 
from 10.